Welcome to session 230. For this lesson, we continue with logarithms. We do the law of logarithms today. I have them both using logarithm notation and exponential notation. If you have the product of two logs, log of xy with base a is equal to the log of x with base a plus the log of y with base a. So I took these apart and I'm simply adding them, right? If I have division, that's quotient, that's division, that's the log of x with base a minus the log of y with base a. If I have powers, that's the exponent. The log of x to the y power base a is equal to y times the log of x base a. Remember when we were multiplying monomials, and we found that a to the x times a to the y is a to the x plus y. a to the x divided by a to the y is a to the x minus y. a to the x raised to the y power is a to the x y. We're using those same rules for logarithms. So here we go with 2 times the log of 5, log of c with base 5. How can we rewrite that? What does that mean? If I have a 2 in front of it, 2 times, well, let's look. When I have a something out in front, that means I'm doing a power. I'm doing a power. So this is going to be equal to the log of c to the second power with the base of 5. Log of c to the second power with a base of 5. Now here, again, I have a number in front. That means I have power. So this is going to be the log of m to the third power with the base of 5. Now what if I put something in here and I have a plus? Well, we have to separate them both. If I have a plus, that means that I'm going to have x times y. Well, let's look at this. This would be c to the second power. This would be m to the third power, right? So this is going to be log of c to the second power, because it's got it in front of it, m to the third power times m to the third power. So let's look at the next one. This one was should have been pretty easy because do you see this was this. This was this. So it's this log plus this log means I am multiplying those two. When I have a plus, I'm multiplying. But you have to do this c to the second power first, and you have to do m to the third power first. Let's look at the next one. Okay, again, that's a plus. So that means I'm going to have product like this, right? So that's going to be uh, the 
the logarithm of x to the fourth times y to the second with a base of three. You see it's a plus, so that's the product. But I have to simplify each part first. Let's look at the next one. I have x to the second over x to the fifth. What am I going to do? This is a quotient. So that's going to be log of x to the second with a base of 3 minus log of x to the fifth with a base of 3. But I can't have any powers. What do I do with the powers? I put them in front. I'm multiplying in front. So this is 2 log of x to the base 3 minus 5 log of x to the base 3. I copied that problem on, but anyway, that's what you do. We got the answer to this one. Now, is that any good if we don't solve or find answers? Well, here we have some problems that we're going to solve. Here we have problems we're going to solve. So let's see. Let's look at that first one. 2 log of x base 5 plus log of 6 base 5 is equal to 90. Well, we know this right here means it's an exponent, right? So this is going to be, oops, I'm sorry, I did this again. Log of 96 with the base of 5. Okay, I have log of x squared base 5 plus log of 6 base 5 is equal to log of 5, uh, 96 with the base 5. Now, they all have the same bases, the same base, right? So I can say this is plus, so that means I'm going to have the log of That's multiplication, right? 6x squared equals the log of 96 with base of 5. Since these are, are the same, I can just say 6x squared equals 96. Now you notice that I got it down to where it's one thing equal to one thing. I didn't do it up here, I did it here. After I got through with one item, I combined them, right? So now divide by six and I get x squared equals 16. So therefore x is So that's solving, and I got x is 4. Let's see if we can do it again. We've got the log, 2 times the log of x plus 1 with base 3 minus the log of 2 at base 3 is equal to the log of x base 3 plus the log of 2 with base 3. So let's see what we can do here. 
Well, we know that 2 on the outside means that I'm going to have it as an exponent. So let's see, uh, log of x plus 1 squared with base 3 minus, okay, the log of 2 base 3 equals the log of, can't do anything over here. Okay, here we go. I know that it's minus, so therefore it's going to be quotient. So this is going to be uh, log of x plus 1, the quantity squared, over log of 2, and they both have the base of 3. This is plus, so that means I'm going to be multiplying. So that's going to be log of x base 3 over log of 2 with base 3. So x plus 1 Why did you let me do that? This is addition, so it is multiplication. So that's x times 2. OK, so x plus 1, the quantity squared divided by 2 is equal to 2x, because they all have the same base. Cross multiply, and that's x squared plus 2x plus 1 equals 4x. x squared, bring the 4x over, minus 2x plus 1 equals 0. Factor. And that's going to be x minus 1, the quantity squared, equals 0. So x minus 1 equals 0, so x is 1. But you saw how easy it is to make common mistakes. That's plus. So I did division over here. That was quotient. This is plus, so that should be multiplication. Let's try another problem, see if I can do better. Okay, this right here means I am multiplying. So that's going to be the log of 3x with base 5 equals, I'm adding so that it indicates product again, log of 4 times 9 with base 5. So that means 3x equals 36. So what is x? Well, so x is 12. Let's see if you can see that. Okay. Let's try something else. Okay, I give you that the log of 3 to the base 5 is 0 0.6826. The log of 12 with the base 5 is 1.54396. And I want to know the log of 12 over 3 with base 5. Now you notice that I'm not automatically dividing that out. I can't do that. So with quotients, remember it is subtraction. So this is the log of 
12 base 5 minus the log of 3 uh, with base 5. Because see, if I had divided that out, that would have given me log of 4, but I don't have a 4 up here. I only have 3 and 12. Let's see, the log of 12 is 1.54396 minus 0 0.6826. You notice that I'm not dividing those. I am using the law of the logarithms here, and I have to subtract. And when I subtract, I am going to get, hopefully, uh, 0.86136. But you have to maneuver it to where it's using the log of 3 with base 5 and the log of 12 to base 5. So let's try again. The log of 144 with base 5. Log of 144 with base 5. Well, hey, I know that 12 squared is 144. What do I do with an exponent? I multiply in front of it 2 times the log of 12 with base 5. Well, I know this one is this. So that's going to be 2 times 1.54396. And that gets me um, 3.08792. So see, you are going to be solving some problems. And you're going to be given some facts like this. So that's the law, uh, the laws of logarithm with the product, quotient, and power. Product, quotient, and powers. You know, product is when you multiply, quotient, when you divide, powers, when you have an exponent up there. Okay. Okay, these are some examples that hopefully will be helpful. There are other examples in your book. Please refer to them if necessary, and good luck with your assignment.